Enamels are very much like people. They have their mood swings and they are so unpredictable. Sometimes the colour works and then the next day, the colour will turn out milky or chart. When this happens, I will have to start all over again. Enamelling is the application of powdered glass onto a metal surface like gold or silver. This object is then placed into a kiln and fired. The powdered glass then fuses and adheres to the metal surface in the heat. When done correctly, it creates a beautiful non-fake colour that can look like jewels. When I tell my friends that I am an enamelist, they think that I work at the other clinic. <laughs> I realise that most people are not exposed to enamelling art. They actually think that it got to do with dentistry or kitchenware. I hope that I can showcase what enamelling is in my current project. A local watch brand has asked me to collaborate on a series of Peranakan inspired watch dolls. They are the first fully handcrafted watch in Singapore, except for the movement. It's an artisanal collaboration with up to five local craftsmen of different disciplines coming together. We hope to take part in an international competition to shine a spotlight on Singapore. Enamelling the watch style was a very, very labour-intensive process because each colour has a very different firing temperature and I have to repeat the process many, many times. I created around 10 prototypes for each design and took around a year to complete them. My favourite technique is actually the pick a draw. It means letting in daylight in French. It's also the most rarely used due to its difficulty. I have to paint in the air to fill spaces between the soldered wire frames without any backing. It takes scales to prevent the enamel from dripping off or drying up too quickly but I like the challenge. The finished product is very satisfying to look at. It's like looking at a small piece of stained glass art. I'm very lucky to have the support of my family to pick up enamelling. My sister actually signed me up for a botanical drawing class that I did not know that could also apply to enamelling. When drawing plants, I have to first study all the highlights and the deep shadows to make it look more three-dimensional. It's the same when I create a three-dimensional piece of enamel craft. I come to realise that not many people can pick up enameling easily as the cost of material is very high. I hope to do my little part to give more workshops and find ways to showcase Singapore craftsmanship more through collaborations with other artisans. <laughs>